beer time. I mean... I like that he's so dedicated to doing his shopping that he's like, I don't give a fuck who's outside. You're gonna have to wait. Is he fucking ripping the cables out of the walls? Wow. Talk about resourceful. He's gonna take the bell too, isn't he? Dory? I seen your flag. I see it glow. You can tell by the gun and the voice, it's Dory. You're gonna walk away. Or walk away alive. Your man's like, come on, I just scavenged oh, some bells and light bulbs. Just let me leave. Come around and you assuredly live. Make a choice. He's gonna go for the gun. Morgan's like, you got this under control, Dory. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Man will beat you. He's gonna be stupid. Oh. He's like, I told you. Now you're missing a finger. Look what you made me do. The Taylor Swift of the apocalypse. No, nah, they were selling him down the car shop. How many rounds does it fire? No. Blood. For your story. I understand what she's doing, but I'm getting real sick of her story, Lark. Jesus. For your story. For the story. I love his love for Naomi. I'm sorry. <laughs> you better hold on, Lee. Oh my god. He's like a little yeah. child. I'm sorry. Take them. Oh my god. I love him. I actually love him. They get cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hmm. So she's a handy person to have around until she decides that she's too the close to them and she's like, I gotta leave. Tomorrow? What new and exciting locale are we visiting today? Look, we can't just get by finding a few cans of food here and there. We need to find a place with seeds. It's so weird seeing Nick. It's like they're teasing us. He's dead, but it's like he's not because he's still there. It's like I'm orange. I'm trying to move on now and I can't. Thanks for coming, buddy. I should be thanking you for what? For saving me time. What? Tell me who you really are before I thought you were someone else. Mm. So why not tell? I'm just not sure what you'd do to me if I did. He has a point. Strand did kind of show that he's a little bit ruthless. You know, I wouldn't go telling on him. Okay. Yeah. Found this in the back of the pantry. You wanna? Yes. I like that they're worried about their people, but they find alcohol and they're like, "Ours, mine, gimme. Let's go down it now." I was in bad shape. You could have left long before I was able to walk, but you didn't. You waited for me. She's like, I don't trust you, Strand. After everything. I don't know what you'd do to me if I left you. Yeah. You're my drinking buddy. That, and I really like drinking with you. Well, did I, did I see this scene before? Or am I going get mad? Out. I said get out. It's Naomi. It's what she does. She runs away. You were ditching out on us. Again. Let's go here. Maybe fertilizer, some food even, military rations. How do you know that? Place I used to be. They'll be back. Will they? I like that they're still like living out in the car park. They don't give a fuck. They're like, we're still here. You guys want to talk yet today? No? All right, we'll try again tomorrow. Do you at least like the music we're playing? Are we gonna get backstory for Naomi? More backstory? Oh, he's playing with his little rock of sanity. His little moral rock. Jackpot, you guys found beans, it's something. Killed each other over some cans of beans. 
Where have you been? Whoa. Shopping for dinner. Jesus. Shouldn't they have brought that back, though, favorite. to the community? Since when? Broadwell. Because we've been to a lot of places like this. Yeah, some better, some worse. It was a long trip from Mexico. We don't talk sure about the Mexico. fucking ranch anymore. Los Angeles. An abandoned FEMA shelter. You live there? I really want to think about that. So many more questions. You have to trust me. Oh, is that where her kid died? You wore what? I wasn't leaving to go get seasoned at coffee. We all know that you were running away. You're just leaving? Because she's a coward. I don't right. agree with that. I don't think she's a coward. And I didn't leave. Because you got because caught. You and now you can't. I like that he's acting all fucking mm -hmm. high and mighty. So, we should thank you for showing us who you really are. He, well, he was gonna leave like last episode. Okay. Come on, we should all get a little shot out of the Ah, come on. Strange does not have the right to be mad over this. He had a fucking car packed with, with, with re resources and was going to fucking leave them. And he's like, damn, you were going to do it too? Shame on you. I'd never do that, Madison. She's like, fine, you take my keys. I'll just hot wire the fucking car. Bye, bitches. I was going to stay, but then I changed my mind back to leaving. Hang on, did she leave the map with Madison and Strand? Because they could easily just fucking follow her here. Although it looks pretty fortified, like none of the doors are broken and the locks are still on. There is that. Oh ho! Nope. I always thought that walkers sound like really angry lizards. The car that Cole and I found, we didn't find. It was my contingency plan. He was eaten know. alive by guilt and he had to come clean. People don't change. When pressed, when cornered, the artifice falls and the curtain drops. He's very dramatic, isn't he? He can't just say, yeah, look, I was a dick and I was going to leave. Old say? habits die hard. I don't really get this. What, what's the fucking plan here? Like, is she looking for supplies or is she looking for her kid? <clears throat> is her kid, like, dead and walk She Is she, like, the governor of Fear the Walk of Dead? And she's her kid just, like, tied up in a fucking classroom? She'll go in and brush his hair and then leave and be like, I'm good now for a week. I'll be back then. Oh, it's a kid kid. Like, it's a, it was a baby. Yeah, what happens if a baby turns into a walker? Can they get up and walk around? Or do they just lie on the floor and wriggle? Ooh. Okay. She's spending, something's gonna come around the corner. She's spending too much time here. Put your shit in a bag and run. Please tell me she took the fucking guns that were in that box too and not just the goddamn diary. Well, these guys didn't turn into walkers, so I'm guessing they were shot in the head. So did, did she do it? Were they part of her group? Ah, she couldn't even have a moment to be sad because of these fucking wankers. Well, if she lived here, she should know this place, right? She should know the layout. Oh, damn. All right. The fuck happened to his ear? Ah. What? <laughs> fuck is that? I'm gonna shoot you, no I'm not. I'm gonna shoot you, no I'm not. She knew all of these people, I'm guessing. Get off my leg, you grabby bastard. Surely they'd be able to push that scaffolding over. Oh, that's horrible. Are they all people she knew? She's literally sitting up there on her own, surrounded by all the dead fucking walkers of people that she knew. Why is she sorry? Did she have something to do with it? Is that Strand and Madison? Oh, look at them in to save her! I think I can get to it. Physically or mentally? Shit. 
Fucking Indiana Jones! Are you gonna climb up the side of the thing with a rope? Oh. Hurry up, woman! They could fucking turn and eat strand at any moment. If he lets go of her and she's over that herd of walkers, that is gonna be so awkward. I got you, Naomi. Ugh, I didn't have a proper grip on the rope. I'm sorry. Something's gonna go wrong here. The scaffolding's gonna collapse or strand is gonna drop her. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh no. Strand, come on, man. You're a big dude. Use those fucking arms. They made it out though. That was really fast thinking on Strand's part. It had to be me in there, not you, not anyone. Well, they ended up risking their lives for you anyway. So it didn't really work. I thought we could be safe with when Dave Rose woke with a cough. I thought it was a cold. And then a week later, it turned into pneumonia and I knew she needed antibiotics. So I hid her in the pantry behind the food court. And I went out and I told her to lock the door. And what happened? I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, and I found that about she still lived. <laughs> she died and turned, killed everyone? I thought, Naomi. She died before I got back with the medicine. And she turned that first night. And then, and everyone else did too. I did this. Alright, well, I'm understanding your character a little bit better now. Riddled by guilt and shame. She cracked the trap. He said he went wrong. He said he'd have everything we need to start over somewhere else. How the fuck did she die then? Did she just get lock herself into the truck and die in there of like old age? She was waiting so long for fucking Naomi to come back, she just died. Did you get the amoxicillin? I don't know why. But I'm getting Jared Leto vibes off of this guy. I don't know, is it like his outfit or what? what do you want? Back it up! Let's go! It'll take longer than we can wait. Come on. Had enough of this fucking place. They have food now. They're not gonna die, so the interesting part is over. Let's fucking leave. Be careful, Madison. In my experience, the really bad stuff never be coming. Yes, but for now, you are the one at the side of the road with no food and supplies, so get lost, loser! It's a nice, brief little victory that they found food, and for now it seems to be okay, and, you know. Is that like the JSS, the Fear the Walking Dead? J-I-C? It's the fear version? And I may have been premature in telling you who I am. Just for clarification on that point. Are they going to be a thing or something? Are they flirting? Is that what this is? We need to talk. We won today. You're a big part of it. Let's leave it at that. Oh, she's mad at him. I mean, bitch, me too, but come on, you saved Naomi. You know, you, you can just forgive him this one time. I don't believe that the vultures are gone. Not for one fucking second. Hey, grab some rations, a few medical supplies. A couple of rifles from the armory, put them in the Land Rover. Park it at the back of the motor pool and we should keep it quiet. No one needs to know. Promise. They left. I don't think they're coming back. Alicia. Alicia, you need to plan, baby. Why? Because you need to be prepared. Just in case. Always better to be safe than sorry. Ah, she said just in case, like on the keys. Oh. Took me a little bit longer than it should have to pick up on that. Alicia looks like some kind of wild ferret person. I don't know, is it the fucking... The crazy look she has, or the, the crazy hair, the desaturation, or what? But she, I wouldn't fuck with her in this day and age. Oh, Morgan is a gammy knee. He can't get on the ground. Ah, don't make him kneel. Ah, 
She's like, no, this is great material. Keep going. That gun is so big. And fucking threatening looking. I would pee my pants if she pointed that at me. Like, what gun needs to be that complicated looking? That shit looks like some kind of alien Perhaps machinery. They'll come out now with their deck chairs and their little bicycle. Hey. He's wearing normal people clothes. Good for him. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm not sorry about yours. <laughs> oh! I mean, just shoot through him. To be fair, they don't know Morgan that well. That was a woman on the walkie. Was that Madison? Or is that Naomi? Oh, I told you she was still fucking alive. She's one of them. Oh, he gets to be reunited with his love. She's a bad guy though now, right? I'm so confused. My emotions don't know what to do. The fuck? Oh my god. I just started liking him. This happens to me all the fucking... Oh uh, yeah, okay, but like, he's not dead. He just got a little bit shot. He'll be okay. Right? If they kill him, and I decided last week that he was my favourite character, I'm going to be so fucking mad. I literally just said that I love him. And I promised I'd never like another character again after Nick if they do this to me again. Ho <laughs> ho ho. For now, we're going to say he's fine. He just got a little bit shot. We're, we're going to say he's fine. Right? Right, John?